How do you handle failure? That's a good question. And it'll probably be a different answer five years ago than now. But I grew up, uh, the, 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 the thoughts I grew up with, like my dad was like always beating himself up for mistakes. And I like, grew up doing that too. So I was very hard on myself, uh, for, you know, probably 10 years ago. But now, um, failure, you know, that's a good question. Because anytime something doesn't work out, uh, the way I think it's supposed to work out. I just I just say like, hey, I went to the listing appointment, didn't make it, it canceled on me, hired another agent, you name it. Or the deal, the deal came, it got taken, it went somewhere else, whatever the situation is. Um, I just say to myself now, okay, this person, this wasn't meant for me. I'm, I just feel like I'm protected. Um, you know, so I, it's more like, that's how I, I don't see this failure. I just see it as this is the universe, God, infinite intelligence, whatever you want to call it, protecting me and putting me on the right path that I ultimately want. It's just not coming in a way that I anticipate. Um, and I think that comes with trust and a cool faith, you know, in this life. Everything is always working out for me. It's not happening for exactly. me. Working out exactly. for me. So One I feel of the like we, we get caught up so much in how it's supposed to happen. Yes. And it's really not, that, I don't feel like that's our job. Our job is just to focus on what we want and be, mm -hmm. you know, in awe surprised I agree. Like, you know, I how it comes together i think this is in where you a perceived failure or where something didn't work out or you know your challenges and your struggle i think it's really an important place to insert visualization mm -hmm.